Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. So I am starting today with this tumbler. It is a regular tumbler, not a sublation tumbler. I used polyester glitter over it and then I covered it with that poly urethane spray so i am going to be trying something different so please know this is my first time trying this and i may have to kind of get it down but i really just want to see if it works and i'm sharing with you guys because you may be trying to do something similar so i printed my image with my sublimation printer the epson 2760 and i have some heat resistant tape and then i have some butcher paper as well as a shrink wrap made for cups now normally these shrink wraps people use them in the little convection or toaster oven which i have one of those but i wanted to try it in the um, Cricut mug press and see how it works. So my thought is, you know, maybe if that gave it the pressure, the heat going up would work. But now also remember, this is not a, even a sublimation tumbler. I used a regular stainless tumbler. I put polyester glitter and then polyurethane spray. All right, so I put on my image put it in place with heat resistant tape and then I wrapped it in the butcher paper and now I'm putting it in the shrink wrap and I'm going to just shrink shrink wrap this using my heat gun and you know when you first start out shrink wrapping it I noticed that there's lots of wrinkles so I was a little bit worried at first because this is my first time using this shrink wrap on a tumbler also but what I realized as you go along you can actually easily heat out the wrinkles as well so just go in long easy kind of um, swipes with it you know so I do think that next time I'll so I'm doing two in this video and next time I should definitely base paint it white and but I wasn't really sure you know I didn't know about having an extra coating of something on there so but next time I'll definitely paint it white all right so I'm just you know putting all my heat my my heat shrink wrap Ooh, that's a mouthful down and it gets quite hot so please be careful so just making sure that there's no um, you know wrinkles or anything and you can see it comes out really pretty smooth so the thing with this is that it holds the pressure that the pic that the picture needs with the heat so I'm going to put it in my um, mug press now I know that it's not solid all the way you know all the way down and that's what I was really worried about because the cup is kind of tapered if you know what I mean but I'm going to try it and then turn it upside down I thought it might be hot but the top of it wasn't hot so you know that sort of made me a little bit worried now I will tell you as you can see some of that heat shrink kind of melted to the bottom of my mug press but once it cooled I just took a pair of tweezers and I actually lifted it right up out of there it wasn't any big deal whatsoever um, however I do think that you know I wanted to see if I could use my mug press but I think that the little oven will be better and that's what I'll use but really this is about you know can we do the sublimation on a regular tumbler with glitter over it so here is our picture now this actually 
actually came out really cute. So please remember, this is the first time that I'm doing it, trying something new just to see if it works. Now, if I would have had more even distribution of heat, then I think it would have came, the whole picture would have came out nicely. But you can see I didn't have enough pressure on the bottom, but the whole idea is that I used a regular tumbler, put some glitter on it, and the sublimation worked. So how amazing is that? Like, I'm gonna play around with this and, you know, get it to where it works really good. But look at that, that is amazing. I am so excited for this. However, I will tell you, I'll definitely use the oven instead. All right, so I'm gonna try one more on this wine glass. Now, again, I didn't base paint it white and I should have. I didn't really think it would make a difference, but I think that it would definitely make a difference. So, but again, we're gonna do the same thing. I covered it with the polyurethane spray. Now, this time I went ahead and oh look, I'm showing you my mug that I made. Listen, that mug press for mugs, I love it so much. That is now my new favorite mug. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy with it. And I'm really happy with the Cricut mugs. I'm just saying. All right, so again, I'm using some heat tape and I'm putting my image down. And then this time, I just thought that I would try cutting the sleeve because the cup is small, um, just to see if it made any difference. I don't think it really matters, to be honest. Um, if I put it in the oven, I would probably make sure it was all just completely covered and not worry about what was left over on the ends. But since I'm putting it in the mug press, I was a little concerned about the end. So I'm just gonna cut it in half, but again, I'm going to, you know, wrap it with the with the paper. And I don't know, you would think I was trying to wrap a present or something because I was definitely not doing a good job. Now, the one thing this this wine cup and I knew that it was a tight fit. This wine cup is really quite a tight fit for the mug press. So um, again, oven would be better. However, it wasn't about can we use our mug press? It really, you know, is about putting sublimation over glitter. However, if you're, you know, I know that, um, so I use the mug, the mug press on a sublimation tumbler and it was no big deal because I didn't have to do all of this. With the sublimation one, I just put the picture on, wrapped the butcher paper around it, put it in the mug press, um, did one side, turned it over, did the other side, and it was perfect. I made a little blue truck tumbler for my grandson and it came out really good and I used the mug press and I didn't do the um, I didn't do the heat shrink around it or anything like that but you know and also with the glitter I want the heat shrink because I don't want a mess of glitter you know what I mean all right so we finally got the heat shrink on. I didn't do an amazing job, and it's because when I cut it, I didn't cut it well, and I cut it too short, but that's okay. So we're gonna put it in the um, mug press, and you can see it's really a tight fit. So my poor little mug press, though, it took it like a champ and held up well through it, so I'm really impressed. So it's done, we're gonna take it out and go out and open it. Now the one thing with this particular tumbler, um, the sublimation came out really good. I am so excited. I mean, so now I know I can put glitter on my tumbler and then do sublimation. Again, I'll do it in the in the little oven instead of my mug press. However, it works. Now, 
please don't judge this tumbler. Remember, I was just, I'm just, you know, trying to see if some stuff works and it was a tight fit. So A, I burnt the glitter and B, I knocked half the dang glitter off of the cup. So, but look how good the sublimation turned out. The sublimation looks phenomenal. And I think that this will be really good inside an oven. So that's what I'll try it next. Now I am going to take these tumblers and I'm going to put some epoxy on them just to see how the picture looks underneath epoxy. Because you know a lot of times epoxy will really bring out a picture. So I'm hoping that that's the case. I'm going to put both of these under. I'll do that in a part two video or it would be super long. So if you're interested, I will throw some um, epoxy on it and see how it looks. And um, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, friends. I'll see you later. And I'm going to go put some epoxy on these. Bye.